Hello and welcome back to uh, Caves of Cud. I'm uh, I'm pretty excited. We are um, oh let's let's not do that. <clears throat> we are in the Tomb of the Eaters and I'm looking for Kagon. Um, and uh, that's basically the long and short of it. There's only been one scare, which I immediately hit the bricks. I, I could have potentially fought um, some uh pan humors i forget what they're called i can't remember anyway they they were scary um i say they there was two of them but yeah that's the scaredest i've been on this run uh that's not true i did get almost frozen to death by some dervish that was uh that was scary was not a huge fan of that whole mess but yeah that was um they, they could have done some real damage to me. I, I have no, like, no doubt in my mind that they, they could have absolutely just demolished me, given an opportunity. Uh, I'm going to have a quick look down here. I'm not seeing anything. Uh, do a quick scan. Whoa, we got a couple of humors. I am trying to find um, Kagon. It's going to be a bit... Nope. Yeah, it's it's kind of my least favorite part of the tomb and, and like, you know, you could say you could definitely say hey, you don't have to do uh, Kagon I have absolutely no reason not to 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 do Kagon none Because I am friends with slimes so I can just trade with him Them it is that one of those very few uh, it like it, it exceptions Uh, we have life saps. I really don't like that our dude just like walked by them without caring because they have the potential to do some great damage to us Um, don't know what our bell is at. It's at 40 rounds. Uh-oh We not we might not make it we might get uh, tombed. Oh, there we go We've got some tomb tether here. We'll just wait this out Wait 40 turns boop 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 Nice. Uh, I was a little bit scared there. I'm also a little bit worried that our character would like <laughs> explore quotation marks one of those tombs, and that's an instant death. That's a little bit scary. Okay, uh, let's go ahead head in clairvoyance this area. We've got some fresh water and some fish. Got some te uh, tomb tether here. Is that Kagon? Probably not. Nope. Where are you, Kagon? Where are you? I want to trade. I'm looking to make friends and to trade with you. I wish our um. I do wish that our, our clairvoyance or our ego was good enough that our clairvoyance would just like cover the entire map. Nope, just a normal cupola. Oh, we have 20 rounds. Oops. What do we got over here? Nothing. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, yep, I got recalled. Get back here, worm. Stop it, worm. Stop, stop this. Oh, this worm seems to be cool with me. I, I'm not cool with them, though. Um, oh, we got scaled sandals. <laughs> I'm never not going to appreciate scaled anything. Um, do a quick. Nope. I guess if I, I, sh I should just do like backspace to check if something is a legendary or not. Yeah, like we can we can just check that way. Backspace. Nope. Nothing, nothing going on over here. Uh, I, I got a little bit nervous there because there's a shaft, and uh, I, I, I didn't see it and clicked to move over it. But fortunately, um, Caves of Cut is smart enough not to run me into stuff. Okay, so here's our Mopango area again.
we've just about fully explored all of uh this bottom tomb let's go ahead and wait uh 200 uh we don't have to wait that actually i would like clairvoyance to be back boop is that k gone no it's not Um, there's some interesting things happening over there. That was an that was a pretty intense grenade used there. I do want to like just grab all the trash. That better not be better not be K gone right there. No, it's not. It's stasis. Uh, I'm not gonna fight. I was tempted to fight that lad, but I'm not gonna. <gasps> K gone. There he is. There he is. Hello, Kagon. Uh, one dram of slime. We don't have to be friends. Hated by the villagers of Kipad, disliked by apes, hated by newly sentient beings. Would be a good candidate to be to kill, but I, I like my ooze rep, so I'm just gonna trade with him. Bouquet of flowers. Excuse me. That's a weird one. Uh, wow, the repulsive device isn't even that expensive. <laughs> Ooh, chapter unspecified. We have a Schrodinger page. Wasn't expecting that one, actually. Um, okay, let's uh, let's trade for that. Could just do a rough topaz or a gold nugget. Do I do I have anything I need to get rid of though? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, a solar cell. Don't really have too much stuff to get rid of. Force bracelet, maybe? Sure. And we'll do the displacer bracelet. Uh, no, the displacer bracelet is actually pretty good bits. Do this pistol, whatever it is. I don't really care to find out. Uh, I guess we could just do some grenades. We should get rid of some flashbangs. Cool. All right, let's use this Schrodinger page. Um, where is it? Where does it go? Oh, there it is. Chapter unspecified. Oh, chapter unspecified means I can choose whatever, huh? Oh, dang. Oh, oh, dang. Oh, shoot. Um... I might have to sit on that for a sec. I'm kind of tempted to use uh, metamorphic polygels on that. Like, maybe, let me know what you think. Cause that seems like a really good use of that. Free reputation with whatever uh, faction I want. Uh, okay, we are at the pan humor site. Not huge fan of the, oh no, okay. Um, run away. Oh, this, this place has been demolished. Run away from the pan humor. Ooh, there, the, there's the other one. I mean, I could fight it. It says easy, actually. And it's injured. All right, let's uh, turn on our force bubble. Well, we did kill it. It explodes. We didn't even get any XP from that. I should not... I, I shouldn't be such a, a, a wuss about things sometimes. Fine. They exploded as well. Okay, well, so they, they die pretty easily, actually, in the grand scheme of things. Let's turn our force bubble off. Uh, I only saw the two of them. Let's, um, we have 240 rounds. I want to go and, uh, hand our device in. The thing is, is I'm not sure. I'm not sure who we want to hand in our device to. So, like, 
Yeah, I, uh, we could hand it in to Dagash. I think the only one I've um, handed it in to was... I, I can't remember what their name is. Cal. Um, and I do want to keep track because there's an achievement, although I don't think I'm tracking achievements currently. But anyway, we're going to go upstairs. Um, we'll see what other creatures we can find. Ooh, this is quite the location. We're on good terms with these, um, strip flies, so we don't have to worry about them. However, the, um, looks like there's going to be some chaos. I do want to check out that dromad. Oh god, what in the world was that? <laughs> I think that was like a gravity grenade. That was the first time I may have seen a gravity grenade. This, uh, this floor scares the living bejesus out of me. I really want to go talk to that dromad. What do you got? Oh wow, nothing. That's a solid nothing. I will buy that skulk though, because I am kind of running out. I am actually very excited about that unspecified Schrodinger page. Um, that's, that's really interesting to me. Let's just do this silver nugget. Okay, um, kind of want to re-equip some stuff. I don't want to do nano pneumatic jackhammer anymore. I'm not going to disassemble it. I'm just going to remove it. Let's put on our copper plated thingy. Let's put on our ram rainbow weave and our shield. Gives us some extra AV. We're famished. Uh, we should cook a meal. There's no hostiles near nearby, at least not for us. This is ridiculous. Let's cook up that same meal again so we have some extra AV. 19 AV. That's pretty good. Ooh. Is that a... Ooh. That was a little bit scary. Elder Dreambeard. We're, we're okay with them. Uh, this portion of, um, the tomb is basically Golgotha Part 2 Electric Boogaloo. Uh, I, it, it's a nightmare. What can I say? Okay. Everything is cool so far. I don't like the stompers. We're not gonna we're gonna do everything we can avoid uh, do to avoid the stompers. Those are one of very few things that can hurt us a lot. <laughs> uh, the grave robbers are really creating a problem for me. Like they're everywhere and they're fighting everything. I don't know what our timeline is at right now, but we are getting very lucky with this arrangement. We have all of these little back alleys, which is nice. We have 220 rounds. We are totally fine for time. This is actually, this was a really easy lane. Uh, one of the easiest second floors of Tomb of the Eaters I've seen yet. Uh, the only thing is I'm a little, uh, you know, I'd like to go and find the other creatures. I don't know if there's only one per um, are we tomb te yeah, we're tomb tethered. I don't know if there's only one per, uh, floor or one per tomb. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be all four, but I've ne I've only, only ever like seen one at a time. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll go and try and find the other ones. This next part's going to be, um, is, is, is going to suck a little bit. Not a huge fan of the next like three floors. That being said, uh, I wonder how difficult it would be to shoot a ferret. I don't really want to... Ooh, ooh. 
Oh no. What uh what angered them exactly? Looks like they're not well I may as well check out what's inside this now. Now that they are angered. I can just run away. There's more pan humors. Well, we do really good damage to them. And we also have a rainbow weave cloak, so uh, we have a good chance to refract their uh, their damage. In fact, I'm wearing refractive gloves, refractive pumps, and a rainbow weave cloak. So like, can we put, we can't put refractive on that. We could potentially put refractive on, oh, never mind. What does this have on it? Two face, oh, and, and our hat is refractive. And our, <laughs> our showered mail is refractive. So never mind. Um, these guys, I don't even think these guys can touch us. Oh God, pan humor. They explode and they seem to do a lot of damage when they explode and I really don't want to find out if that's an insta kill. Pan humor exploded, taking out a bunch of stuff over there. I don't know, um, yeah, predictably ferrets are really difficult to hit. But we can, uh, kill these crypt sitters very easily. They, they basically can't touch me. He refract laser column. I love the new uh, effects, by the way. I haven't really mentioned it, but the new laser effects, really nice. Is that acid? That is acid. Those I, lush gels, you know? Yeah, I mean, Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys in melee it hurts us slightly, but honestly. Gigantic flawless crystal grave sword. Meh. Oh wait a minute. Gigantic. Um no, never mind. The I was just thinking it would be good for a golem, but the golem's gonna have meta uh whatever. They're gonna have their own weapon that's gonna be better and natural. Tempting. But no. This linear cannon really is nice. We're gonna be beset by uh, freaking whatchamacallums. Gorge growths any, any second now. This, uh, this sucks. I think they're like dragging me. Nothing in that, huh? Ornately filigreed marble. Wow, it takes a lot of damage. We're still... Oh, we're not using our nano thing anymore. Uh, this is whole zone kind of sucks a lot. We're not on okay terms with that. Is that a legendary Pewdis Templar? No, it's just a encrusted or a implanted Banner Knight. It is a Templar. They should be pretty easy to take out. Uh, yeah, I will take them out. Whoa, insta-killed. Let's go and grab their stuff. Um, I guess I grabbed most of it or they just didn't have very much. Oh, I see a lot of it is southeast of me Um, sure we'll grab the desalination pellets. I don't think I care about plastifer anymore. Let's see what this is overloaded laser pistol Yeah, we'll grab that Can't have it all. Uh, you know one day at one point I did care. Oh pickaxe perfect. I did care, but I don't really any longer. We do have quite a lot of room, so we could grab a lot of this stuff. I 
Okay. Sense of vast animus. Oh god. Oh, uh, that strip fly is not my friend. Snags your face, Silk. That's fine. There's our vast animus. Okay, um, we didn't gain ego from that. That's fine. Uh, that strip fly is really a problem right now. Are they running? I don't know what they're running away with. Do I have all my stuff on me? Yeah, I think so. These ferrets really are bumming my vibe right now. Get out of here, ferret. Well, there's our staircase up. I, I could go and explore literally every single tomb. I wouldn't mind doing a little bit of exploration. <sighs> Strip fly, why? Oh, uh, there we go. What did you grab? Grab some injectors, that's fine. Are they already dead? No. Now they're dead. What do we got? Lacquered, engraved, sturdy, point defense drum. That feels like an upgrade. It does feel like an upgrade. Oh no, I mean my current one is masterwork and that, is, that does actually make a big difference. I'm gonna go ahead and go upstairs. As much as, uh, oh, well, we could go straight upstairs. I could always come back here and explore in the future. What is happening? Okay, let me, okay, let me ascend. This is it. That was, uh, that was pretty quick, actually. Less than 30 minutes. I'm, I'm happy with that. We have made it. Um, I do want to grab Kessel Face. There's Kessel Face. Grab it. Protect the force of the cherubim prevents you from taking anything from the reliquary. So I have to fight some arachnid cherubim, uh, glass pottery cherubim. Um, this is like the only this is this is potentially dangerous. I won't lie How are they related to me? Average average average, okay uh, Attacks have a 10% chance to dismember so you know be careful <laughs> that pot can dismember you reflects 25% damage back at attacker Same dealie with the glass spider cherubim so if I want to fight them, I'm going to have to do so with grenades and all manner of stuff. I could just try and melt them. Could just make like a ton of thermal grenades and then melt them. Um, let's make some spring turret grenades. Oh no, that, that doesn't work, right? Because they reflect. You got to, you got to hit them with, uh, you got to hit them th with that area of attack stuff. I only have Mark 1 thermal grenades, unfortunately. I could try and like stasis grenade them. Like I'll make a couple of stasis grenades. And then like just heat up the area around them so much that they melt. I've never done something like that before. Could be fun. I don't know like what else would be good. I could try and beguile them. There is that. I could take, um, eat that one meal that lets me beguile and then 
beguile one cherubim to help me fight the other ones. That would just take one out, basically. Do that. Like, we'll just start with that. How about that? There's a chance this might not work. I mean, I have to assume they have pretty high uh, willpower. Oh, it worked easily. Okay. Um, so the next thing is we equip a, let's equip a stasis grenade and we'll just, let's, uh, let's stasis these two guys. Ah, uh, that didn't work out at all. Okay. Well, let's just make sure they're both in line and then um if i shoot them they're gonna reflect the damage back at me and they also have a chance to dismember so that's a problem so i just want to get them into i, I just want to like aggro them right i don't want to do anything too dangerous here <laughs> he says as he's about to fight some freaking oh i didn't make enough thermal grenades why didn't i do that i didn't make any thermal grenades oh, i could just do like acid gas grenades that's probably better actually they're not even aggro with me Acid gas grenade could potentially destroy the chest is the only thing that worries me. I'd have to lead it away. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's start again with um, stasis grenade mark three. Do I know how to make plasma grenades? Doesn't look like it. No, I guess I never learned how to do that. Huh. Okay. Because I was thinking, like, plasma grenades would help me melt them. Okay. Um, let's make some thermal. Sorry. I did not mean to press that button. Actually... I just realized I have a better thermal in my grenades, right? Yeah, I have a Mark III. I should learn how to make that. Uh, sorry, this is, this is, um, well, we don't need that recipe anymore. Um, cook from a recipe. Let's just do the other banana. That'll give us psychometry. Um, and then we'll just learn imbibe in all of our goods. Oh yeah, that's a mental mutation. So it actually, I have to pass a check. How much damage are we taking? Uh, not too much. Okay, there we go. Um, there's the plasma grenade learned and then we just want the thermal. Okay, just double checking I'm not like killing myself right now. There we go. Oh, is this one no longer beguiled? I would think that they would stay beguiled even though I no longer Oh, that's a that's kind of a bummer. Huh. And now I can't <laughs> now I can't do the thing. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's wait like 1,200 turns. Uh, I know it's a weird one, right? Um, but like, if I beguile one of them and then they fight the other, the others for me, it really does help a lot. Like that just takes two of them out at once. Um, might have to start this on the next episode, but I, I kind of want to start this let me see can i eat now still can't eat wow that's the the one pain in the butt when it comes to uh endurance is that like 
if you actually want to change your meal setup, then it, it, it becomes an issue. Okay, um, can I eat now? Yes, I can. Cook from a recipe. Whenever you eat a mushroom. Okay, cool. All right, let's uh, beguile this pot again. Cool. Um, and I mean, I guess I'll start by throwing a plasma grenade. Uh, I kind of want to just like throw throw a stasis, get rid of two of them, just to fight one of them at a time. And then, um, yeah, we've we've got our, our stasis grenade. I know I'm all over the place right now, but I, this is this is genuinely tough, and I just don't want to mess it up. Okay, so now we've got two of them in stasis. Remove. Equip. Uh, I didn't make any grenades. God damn it. I'm in too much of a rush, and it's actually causing me problems. Literally did not make the grenades I needed to make. Make some plasma grenades, please. And make some thermal Mark threes. Gonna have to put them in stasis again. You know, it just occurred to me. Could I just like beguile them and then have them jump into lava or something? Never thought of that before. Like I seem to be able to beguile them quite consistently. Could I just direct them to move into lava? I mean, it, it wouldn't like necessarily kill them quickly, but it would kill them eventually. I guess one thing we could do is I could just here direct. Can I where is direct to attack? Oh, direct to attack target this one. Okay, that works. Oh, they died instantly. Wait, did they they both died? <laughs> they both died. Th that was incredible. Oh my god. All right, never mind. Never mind this like uh mental gymnastics. Let's just um do this. <laughs> Direct to attack the other one. Yeah. Yeah. And they're dead. Um So in this case, they actually succeeded, but they're very hurt right now. So let's just go ahead and um do like some, we'll do, do a, like a plasma grenade. What the? Oh right, because they bounced it off. My bad. All right, worth. We're unfortunately also coated in plasma. Are they coated in plasma now? No, they're not. They're wounded. Are they coated in plasma now? Yes, they are. Okay, so then we, um. P remove P thermal mark threes. We have we made 17 of them. That was probably too much. Should honestly take them out. Like I don't see them being able to withstand that. Are they still coded? They're not auroral, which is kind of what we want. Let's do another plasma. You have to forgive me for like really just being paranoid about these guys, but they are, they are really tough. Um, thermal Mark three. There we go. It was accidentally immolated by you. <laughs> Yeah, it sure was. 
Um, all right, Kessel Face. Thank you. What are we getting rid of for Kessel Face? Looks like I already have room. What is this? Is this the one that gives us electric? Uh, grants you electrical generation at level three. What else is giving us electrical generation? Is it this thing? Yeah, it's that thing. I don't mind holding this thing. That's fine with me. Um, the other thing gives us temporal few. Which I kind of I'm, I'm kind of over it Like it's nice Plus one ego is also very good actually Yeah, all right, let's keep the temporal fugue castle face though We get telepathy that's hilarious plus 200 re reputation with oozes Grants you grants you clairvoyance at level seven Ooh, Our clairvoyance just became massive So that is kind of that. Um, I'm not going to fight any of the other cherubs just because it's kind of tough. I guess, uh, you know, if I fought, like, what is it? <laughs> Four more of them, then I would... Um, is that a... What is that? A hermit? Yeah, ice hermit cherub. Wow. Uh, if I fought four more of them, I would level up, but there's easier ways to gain 4,000 XP. So I'm good. Um, I think we'll just uh, go ahead and finish off the tomb this episode. There's definitely reasons for us to come back. Is that a frog? I love the uh, cherub tiles. They're so good. There's, they're so cool, actually. Uh, those look like plants, probably vines, actually. People say that uh, the art in cut is like, I don't know, I've heard it enough times now and it irks me every time that the art is like not good or primitive. And I, to that I say, it's so stupidly good. Like the, the consistency and quality of art, of Cud's art is really undervalued. I mean, it's, it's valued by the people in the community but anyone who's like an like outside looking in just does straight up does not understand exactly how good the art in cut is because it's like the fact that i can read that something was a vine just by looking at it uh. anyway we are here do you know the mark of death? How do I get to Bright Shoal? You must be dead. Oh, Bright Shoal, the forever braid of life, the garden behind the high gate. While well, you must rank above among the crown echelon of machine and folk, then you must, well, you must start to decompose. You must be dead, dead and entombed. The body remains, but the mind wanders. You must be dead. Is that truly the only way? Yeah, yes. Is this a test? I suppose you, could we, could we have been in the in Bright Shoal all along? Is that, is that the answer? Why is this tomb unfinished? It says the saying among the stone masons, never finish a job too early. By the decrem, decretum of a sagittar. Old as it is, uh, they have until <clears throat> the, to the coiled lamb is decom uh, past the decompassed dead, dead like, to complete their work on the tomb. Blessed the coiled lamb. Peace to those who canter in his house, and pr let us pray the day never comes. But Reshef is dead. The Sultanate is dissolved. Oh, a oh poor friend. The Iron Shank must be upsetting your digestion. The darkness must be blooming in your brain, making you slow and doltish. The Sultanate dissolved. Tidings would have reached me. Someone would have said so. Poor doltish friend. You cantered too long outside the house of the Cold Lamb, and now you are a dolt. Who are you? I am Herodo Herodoticus Lapidary. Lithographer, sculptor, calciminer, and biographer to the Coiled Lamb. I have a funny feeling that Herodoticus is supposed to be the narrator for the new trailer of of uh, Cud. They uh, they don't sound very robotic, but I mean, you know, this, it, it, they fit the bill. I will tarry here until the Godhead has passed uh, passes on, and then I will canonize his deeds in high relief. 
I've tarred, tarried for quite some time now. What a prodigious reign. Bless that coiled lamb. The Sultanate is dissolved. Reshef rules no longer. Oh. Do you know the mark of death? I do. It's, it's, uh, I am required to know the mark of death. Otherwise, I wouldn't know when the coiled lamb was, de is, uh, if he bore the mark. Oh, is, is this a test? Do you know the mark? It is a test. Tell me the answer now. The mark is that. Okay. I bear the mark in tomb me. Should you be... Now, I, I don't rank myself among the doyen of, on the matter of organic life, but my understanding is that the dead do not speak. Besides, you aren't the coiled lamb, are you? Wrong on both accounts. Reshef stands before you. Entomb me. Coiled lamb? Is it truly you? Are, are you dead? Forgive my insolence, Moloch. You are forgiven, now entomb me. <laughs> Moloch, allow me to explain the defecation... Deification... Not defecation procedure as it is clearly beneath your station to know first i must image the great moloch's head read yourself narrative from the folds of thy holiest brain cross check it against the thin world's ambient log of his in eminence's life steeds Herodoticus whispers i'm sure your version is the better one moloch then i stylize the story and i engrave it on the walls once i'm finished the sarcophagus will open and you can lay yourself to rest do it then. As you wish, Moloch. Herodoticus shines a cone of blue light at you. Starting phytoscan. Cross-checking. Cross-check complete. Your narrative is, is, is compiled, the Moloch. Now go to engrave it. Peace, peace to all who canter in the house of the cold. In your house, Moloch. All right. Uh, I will take a moment to, uh, you know, read our history. This is a pretty big moment. And um, we'll see what, what what is valued in our uh, reign. The tomb mural depicts a significant event from the life. Courageous uh, Nimashram discovered Bitara, once thought lost to the sands of time. We found a ruin. Good for us. Um... In the month of Tebut Utx of 1001, brave Nimashram Nima slew abominable Suogo, the callous snapjaw taut eater and member of the folk of the colossal shade of Karashur Barrio in single combat. Just gonna wait like 20 turns between each looking of the thing. Um, remember the kindness who patiently taught? Yeah, oh wait. Taught what? Full right merely dance where weak college into their simple. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm gonna skip books. We're gonna skip books. We are going to skip books. There's a lot of books. There usually is a lot of books. In sacred ritual, uh, Nimam, Nimashram shared their holy water with the noted luminary Ka 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 Ka, the songstress Mary Glowcrow. We'll wait 30 turns. Um, shared a dram with holy, a ho their holy, holy oil with noted luminary warden. Is that the warden of uh, Eshra? Can't remember. Another dram shared with Foshio Gabrikai Chrome Totted. Another dram shared with uh, Senator Mushrotep. Another dram. We shared a lot of drams, it's true. Legendary Giant Firefly. Um, after climactic battle of wills, Nimashram slew Shishram. No longer toes osprey in the psychic trapezus. Ooh, that's an interesting one. In a show of unprecedented solidarity with fungi, Namashram deigned to contract clank on their back. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's a that's a story event. Uh, climactic battle. Another um, vast animus was defeated. Another dram shared deep in the wilds of the outskirts of the lair of uh, 
Tai Thai Thoth, legendary rank Gershling, Nemashram, uh, stumbled upon a clan of arachnids performing a secret ritual. Because of their transparent visage, they accepted them into their fold and taught them their secrets. Last one. Ooh, a Bethel. Bravely, Nemashram plunged into the mouth of an open ice shelf and conversed with the Bethel in the sacred tongue. Um... Dram shared, maybe in the month of Ubut Ut of 1001, Numashram penned the influential book. Yes, this does indicate that some. <laughs> last one. The last one. Died peacefully and was laid to rest in the tomb of sultans. I am finished. The engraving is done, Moloch. I do hope it's to your liking. Your deeds are incised here for all time. May now enter the sarcophagus, Moloch. Be at peace. Farewell. And farewell to you, YouTube. Um, I guess I should. I don't know. How how should we do this? Let's just do it. Entomb. You entered the imperial sarcophagus. Colossal lid slams shut. Darkness engulfs you. You died. Entombed in the burial chamber of Reshef, the last sultan. Uh, a very important moment indeed. Um, this has been like three years in the making. I've been playing this game and I've never made it this far in classic. Uh, at one point, this was basically the end of the game. When I started playing Caves of Cud, in fact, this was the end of the game. Um, or at least an optional end. And I always planned that if I ever made it this far in classic mode, I would end that current series here and basically go to Bright Shoal and uh, see what that part of Cud entails. I still don't know what uh, lies in Bright Shoal. Not really. And I don't have that achievement and I don't have that clout. Or not clout, but like bragging rights. But it doesn't seem right to do that now, to be honest. I would like to do it in a future run, but there's more now. There's far more after Bright Shoal. So, um... You know, I want to make the golem. I want to see the new quest that lies ahead. Um, there's there's new story and there's more to see. And so the bragging rights don't matter to, my, to me as much as actually continuing the story and, um, you know, succeeding in more meaningful ways. So uh, I hope you understand that. But, uh, you know, let me know. And I'm going to leave it here. If you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.